Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Andrew Burnt, where if I can cook it, then you can cook it too, probably better than me. We're, right now we're going to be doing a lettuce tuna wrap. I made this recipe the other day and it was delicious. Here I'm showing you some of the ingredients that we're going to use today. Corn, I got some seaweed packs that I've been telling you guys about for so long, they're delicious. Of course the tuna, black pepper, tahin and onion powder. You can also use the onion powder if, you can skip the onion powder, I'm sorry, if you actually have regular onions. Now here I have some cherry tomatoes. I just love cherry tomatoes. They're so much sweeter than regular tomatoes and so much tinier, I just love it. I'm just gonna give them a cute cut. Yes, a cute cut, like a dog. I'm gonna cut them all really, really tiny, as much as I can. You can also do this with any regular sized tomatoes. Um, you just want to cook them really nicely because you want them to mix with the tuna at the end of the day. Now, I have some seaweed here. Like I said, I love the seaweed. I buy these packets on Costco. They are, they have sea salt, they're lightly salted. Sodium content is super low and I actually use this whenever I don't want to eat. I have a, um, I have a crate for chips. Now, here I'm just cutting everything in so I can mix it up with the um, with the tomatoes I just want to make them like I said make them as small as possible because you're going to make all of it together remember that tuna when it comes in a can is shredded so you want to make sure that everything is all mixed up together now you're gonna be using just half of that packet just save that other half for later in a different bowl you're gonna add the tomatoes and the seaweed to it just like that and now you're gonna use the whole can of corn corn is amazing corn is a vegetable that you don't actually digest it makes you feel super full super fast so it's just great eat as much as corn as you can girls and boys and dogs and everybody now you're gonna put two cans of tuna this recipe is for two people you know that I cook for Gabriel always and when I mean always I mean never but I wanted to make something nice for him this time. So I'm gonna cook, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna mix all of it together. I wanna make sure that everything is mixed and then I'm gonna add my tahin as much as you want to. I love a lot of it, so I put a lot of it. You're gonna put a little bit of lime juice, which I forgot to put in the intro, but that's okay. I'm gonna put some onion powder. Again, if you have the chopped onion, just add it to that mix, don't worry about it. And a pop of love pepper. Remember that I don't like to use salt for any of my recipes for my, my high blood pressure and tuna already comes a little bit salted whenever it comes in a can. The sea salt of the seaweed also adds saltiness to the dish so there's really no need to add any salt. If you are a person that is used to eating a lot of salt, trust me, get rid of it. It's the best thing that has ever happened to me. Now, I have these two leaves of a whole lettuce that I decided to buy, because you know, now I'm organic. I, buy, I take a, a really generous proportion of the tuna. Remember that this is low fat, low carbs, so you don't you really have to be worried about how much you're eating, you know. And it's so much protein that even when you're done, trust me, your body's gonna tell you you're done. I'm gonna make these two wraps. Just with it, look how much I have left over. I am gonna add a little bit more of tahin because I really, really love it. And my secret recipe, jalapenos. Gabriel hates jalapenos, that's why I'm adding it just to myself, just for my serving. And put as many as you can. You can even add some banana peppers if you're into that, or pepper.